So we're going dogging, as you can see from the title of this video. I just left work, um, just pulled over to get changed, and then uh, we've got about a 40 minute drive. We're gonna find some doggers, so uh, bear with. Oh, oh, cold out there. Right, that's better. Just had a thought why I was uh, getting changed. One, I'm not actually going doggy myself. Uh, I'm going to go and park up. I'm going to go and park up in a well-known dogging location, not too far from where I live. Such location that Stan Collymore. I don't know if anyone remembers Stan Collymore. Stan Collymore, ex Liverpool, definitely footballer from about 20 years ago. He was caught dogging in this exact car park. Um, but yeah, the second thought I had was anyone who doesn't know what dogging is, I'll drop it up on screen now. The yeah, because I'm not sure if it's a worldwide thing or not. I assume it probably is. It may be called something different, but. That's what it is. Anyway, like I say, got about a 40 minute drive. Uh, got to park up in the car park. Uh, have some dinner and then see what happens. Okay, so we're very, very close by now. Just about to pull up. The actual drive in there is horrendous. Uh, you know, the sort of gravel path in. However, if you look on Park for Night, this is the reviews that it comes up with. So I've took the camera off the windscreen because there's a few cars already parked up here. Bear in mind it's only five o'clock. There's a few cars ugh, already parked up here. And there's a man in a white van. Looks like a works vehicle pulled up. Oh God, it's horrendous. Driveway. tell because of the stabilization but the camera's going everywhere but you can probably see the head shaking however like I say there was two cars pulled up on the left-hand side when I come in two with bollocks just sat there I normally expect to see dog walkers yeah but there was just two blokes sat there and there was a works vehicle and there's another van following me in so don't get me wrong I'm not saying that these are doggers but you never know do you right I'm gonna find myself a pitch park up and then go from there so the vehicle that's pulled up again is another man inside and he is pulling up and parking up Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in the back of the van and then just crack on with my dinner and stuff. That was the plan all, all along. So I've been here for two minutes and uh, just, got, just, just jumped in the back. These windows are tinted so they can't actually see me. That was the van that followed me in and that one there is just pulled in as well. That is, they're both, well, no disrespect, but there's two old men in each one of them. So, uh yeah, I'm just going to crack on, get some dinner down me, and then uh, we'll see where the night takes us. Oh, so the van that was pulling in 
when I was pulling in, there was that van that was pulling out. Well, that van that was pulling out is now pulled back in again. Well, I said he's like a works vehicle. And there's another camper van pulling up. This is a busy old car park. Five o'clock on a, a Wednesday night. Another camper van pulling in with another bloke in. I think it's what you call a sausage fest, which I am not getting involved in. My goodness me. So yeah, what's that? One, two, five of us. One, two, three, four, five of us. All blokes. I'm just here just to perf, to be honest. Anyway, I'm gonna have a beer. Cool box won't open, I want the cool box open. Cool box will open. Let's try and do it the wrong way, Rob. Beers are freezing. Tonight we have Peroni. Zero alcohol. Is that bottle opener? Bottle opener somewhere. Cheers. Can I get a phone signal? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? No one put my phone. There it is. Oh, gee, apparently. So, I'm going to turn my computer on because I've got a little bit of work to do. Thanks, Mark. I know you're watching. See if I can get signal. Jesus Christ. So that van is now gone. Car's pulled up. Another car's pulled up. I say they can't see me. I hope they can't see me. Another bloke. And what's he going to do? He's parking up. Right in front of my van. Let's dip the camera in his face, just because I won't. Yeah, I don't know what else to say to be honest. I'm just going to chill here for a little bit, have a drink. Like I said, I've got a little bit of work to do. Thanks, Mark. And then um, I'll bring you guys back if anything happens. So that one guy's driving off. So that leaves currently now one, two, me three, and then that car that's just pulled up there four. Uh, to be honest, I'm here for the night, so I'll bring you back. So that car door has just opened. I really hope they can't see me, I tell you. I'm pretty sure they can't. So yeah, nothing else has changed. That car's still in front of me. That car door's open. Okay, work done. I do a little bit of work after work just to clear some up because I'm on leave tomorrow. Um, it was very sunny as you can probably see. And current situation is, it's now 6 p.m. Uh, there's been several comings and goings. At the moment, it's just me and one other car. Again, a single male occupant in the driver's seat. Uh, I have brought with me tonight, as ever, conscious about turning the lights on. Con uh, I've brought with me, as ever, trail camera. So I want to sneak oh. out. I want to sneak out. That's where you pull in the car park and then you drive down there and then drive in here. And this is it here. I'm in the corner. I'll give you a bit of a tour around later on if I get a chance, if I can get out. But yeah, I want to try and put the trail camera up there somewhere so we can see who's coming and going all night. Just, you know, for entertainment reasons. No other reasons. So that's Later's job. Currently, I have borrowed, borrowed this off my parents because I'm having sausage an egg tonight. 
I'm having them all. I ain't messing around. Oh, Jackery, the fan is blowing straight away. And we're up to 940, 950 watts. We're using a lot of power. Ah, must be working now. That's very, very quiet. Very quiet. So you know it's working. We've also got, like I say, I've got me gas with me anyway because. And the good old Ridge Monkey is where my eggs are going to be cooking later on. Sausage and egg, nice, nice soft rolls. A leaf. Oh my god. I'm being haunted by them. If you watched last week's video, you'll know all about the leaf. A bit of. If you, oh my god, there's a leaf in there. Oh my god, there's a leaf in there. See that? God's sake. Yeah, definitely not having a hot chocolate with that water. Is it last week's video? No, the week before. Last week for me now. Yeah, anyway. You'll know all about the leaf anyway if, you, if you're a regular around here. And if you are, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let's see how we're getting on. Oh, we're coming along nicely. Six sausages. Is that a bit greedy? I was going to have four, and I thought, well, I'm not going to put the other two back. I'm just going to sit here all night in the cool box. Hey up, hey up. Some white eggs. I may have bought Tesco free range eggs. Two eggs. Hey up. Jesus Christ, that's quick. Go on now, what are you calling these? Baps, balms, rolls. Personally, rolls. Let me know in the comments what you call them. Rolls. You're telling me that's not perfect van life dinner, alright? I'm not saying I'm a chef or anything, but you know what I mean? What are you saying? Right, I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, sit down, watch a bit of YouTube. And keep an eye on there. Uh, keep an eye on any extraterrestrial activities. Still haven't managed to get this out yet. There's too many comings and goings and that guy's still sat there. So I don't want him to see me. Going to put it out. Cheers. No, it is one. So oh, perfect egg. Really? Squashed everywhere. Right, so I have just I just finished dinner. <coughs> I was actually just uh, packing away, uh, just just tidying up. But that man has now pulled off, so I'm in the car park on my own. So I'm going to rush out, get this out, give you guys a quick tour, and then, uh, yeah. So this is us. <coughs> like I say, you're pulling. All in here. And this is the meeting spot apparently. Obviously I'm parked down there. I was thinking of actually bringing me tent for me bivvy and pitching a bivvy here one night. Somewhere in the woods. 
Is that a bit too perverted? I feel that might be a bit too perverted. In fact, that man who has just, who has, who was here, you can't see, but he's, he's actually parked up down there now. I'm thinking that tree there, because that's the car park. So I'm thinking that tree there. being busted. I'm trying to put my camera up. There's a car coming. What can I do? Where can I do it? I can't do it now. This is going to be awkward, isn't it? Let's try again. All right, we're all set up. On the tree just there, which Looks directly into there. There's two cars parked just down there. One of which was the person who was pulled in there for ages. Whew. Starting to get cold now. It's a lovely night, not a cloud in the sky. So we might get some stars tonight. If nothing else. Right, I'm going to go in, I'm going to warm up, and then uh, whoa, I'll bring you back. Whoa. Feet off, because it's muddy out there, or shoes off, should I say. In fact, what I am going to do is go back out there and see what you can see. See what you can see. Let's have a look. I'm saying you can't see anything. Oh, you probably can't see, but I can see straight in there. That's me saying you can't see anything earlier on. So be careful. Right, let's see what it's like with the lights off. It's pitch black. Can't see a thing with the lights off. I've just had a horrible thought that when the cars pull out of here later on that uh, the trail cam might light up so I'm going to go and trigger the trail cam see what happens that's if the trail cam even picks up from this distance let's be honest oh, I guess it does as well see that? Sugar. There's a good chance that that won't be there in the morning. So I'm going into stealth mode tonight. So hey, I've got a front screen that goes on the front of this van, but stealth mode, which is just a blanket. I just realised I had to turn my lights on to get myself another beer, take the beer opener. However, there's a car over there, the one I've just discussed. I've turned the lights back off now, guys, because if you don't know about dogging, then I'm not sure about the ins and outs particularly, but basically, something to do with flashing your interior lights it means you want to be watched. Uh, I think I put dogging, what dogging means up on screen, at least it means that here in the UK. But yeah, so turn your interior lights on, it means you want to be watched, I think. Uh, so basically, I don't want people coming over to the van. So I'm going to keep the lights down to a minimum and then uh, watch a bit of YouTube. Time is 20 past 8. That light is very bright. I've got to be careful, I don't get anyone knocking on my door. Um, I'm not going to lie, as per the um, Park for Night reviews of this place, it is a very, very popular place. Got the heating on, so you might. I'm sorry if it's a bit uh, noisy. Got the, the diesel heater running because it's gone cold. However, it's just been a constant flow of cars pulling in. Some stays, some are pulling straight back out again. But yeah, well done, everyone that said bottom end. Another two cars just pulled up. 
I'm just scoffing biscuits here, but I appreciate you can't see that. So that's one, two, three with the lights on. Um, three with the lights on, two with the lights off. Not gonna lie, I haven't actually thought this video through to be fair. I just thought it'd be funny to come and spend the night in a dogging car park. I haven't thought the well, lack of visuals or whatever you call it. I haven't actually thought that bit through. Right, okay, so I'm so conscious about turning the lights on in case you get a knock on. You can't actually see very well there, but that car there is literally at the front of the van. And there is one next to it. Looks like a space. One next to that. Space, then another car. So one, two, four cars in total. Let's make a hot chocolate. Sugar. Run out of gas. Pretty sure there's more in the back. However, pretty sure there's more in the back, but obviously with all the neighbours I've got going on, I particularly I want to go out there to be honest at the moment. I'm sorry if you're a dogger and I've uh, my presence has uh, ruined your experience. Sounds like the kettle's boiling, to be fair. Touching it is pretty warm. So looks like there's enough gas. Gonna make you tea. Me, oh yeah, hot chocolate, I mean. Pretty sure that gas has just died. Oh, it's steaming anyway, that's, uh, I'd say that's probably hot enough. To be fair, the cup, that's pretty hot. It wasn't far off boiling. In the backyard area there, it's all a bit of a mess, Cheers. so I'm going to get it concrete printed. We shall look. Okay, sit rep. Time is now. Time is now, what is the sound? Good question. 9.30. And I think I might be on my own. I think I might have scared everyone else. Can't see because I'm blinding myself. Let me turn that off. Yes, I'm on my own. Not sure how I feel about that to be honest. Take me a little torch going. So you can see. One side. Not a single dicky bird here. Where is the... I'm a little bit scared. It's car coming. And I'm going to shut the van. So I've been on my own for the whole uh, sum of... Well, less than five minutes. And I can see at least one vehicle smashing up the driveway. I'm going to try and turn this. And I know you turn the bloody red thing. The flashing light on these GoPros. Car pulling in, as you can see. What will it do? Swings round as a look this way. Probably seen the red flashing light this drove off. Right, experiment time. I need to see if you can see that red flashing light from outside inside so i'm gonna leave it on there i'm gonna leave it on here somehow 
Right, set the GoPro off on there. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to peer through the window. Yes, it can be seen. So I'm going to do a bit of research and I turn it off. Right, sit rep. <sighs> Time is 25 past 10. This car's still coming, still going. Uh, but I've had enough. I am dropping off. So, I'm going to lie here, finish my video, and then uh, drift off. I'll catch you later. Morning. Time is now six o'clock. Oh. Slept well. There was a couple of uh, couple of cars coming on through the night. Uh, nothing else to report, to be honest. I think I'm on my own at the moment. I don't think there's anyone else here at the moment. Uh, what? Yeah. I'm going to get up, have a drink, have some breakfast. Whoa. Whoa. Right, current situation is... Whoa. A bit chilly, still got the eating... Got diesel heater going. Warm up a little bit. Should have done that before I got out of bed, really, but... Well, you know what I mean, before I got out of bed properly. Uh, what's the situation? One more van. Looks like he just... Well, he has just pulled up, to be fair. Just pulled up as I was getting dressed. Got a brew on. And then have some breakfast, and then... Uh, then I'm going to go home. Check the child cam. Don't... Forget the trail cam. Okay, thanks for watching. So, uh, overnight I hit 200 subscribers. Uh, and as per my last video, I'm going to be giving away those two hammocks. In fact, by this time this video goes out, I would have already done the live draw and I already would have given them out. Um, I've also got the next giveaway, 500 subscribers by August. So please hit the subscribe button, that's the next goal anyway. Uh, 500 subs by August and I'll be giving away another hammock, which is a, a brand spanking new one. Um, unopened, you know, blah, blah. So yeah, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know where you're from and uh, subscribe. Thanks very much guys.